The theme for today's episode is say yes. Okay, I bet there's something in your life you've wanted to do for a long time. You crave it, you think about it, but then you postpone it like, oh, maybe next week or next summer, maybe next year. Maybe once the kids are older, maybe if I lose some weight first, things are just too busy right now. I can't afford it. There's a pandemic. It's not a good time. You can come up with 10,000 reasons why now is not the right time, or you can simply decide to say yes. And let me tell you, saying yes changes your life. This episode is all about saying yes to the things you crave right now. No more postponing joy until someday later. You only get one life. Make it count. No more procrastinating when it comes to things you really want. Be the woman who's all about the great stories instead of the woman who's got a big pile of excuses and regrets. It's time to say yes. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids and I'm married and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things. We're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. Who's ready for a two minute upgrade? Yes, I'm gonna demonstrate how to upgrade a part of your life in two minutes or less. Big results, big improvement, big upgrade, and just a tiny little bit of time. Here we go. Today, let's upgrade your breakfast. If you're bored of toaster waffles and sad, soggy cereal, how about switching it up? Let me show you how to make my favorite power smoothie, which takes literally two minutes. I named this smoothie after one of my favorite singers, Lizzo. It's got frozen berries, so it's called the Frizzo Lizzo. Drink this and you'll feel good as hell. Make this tomorrow and say yes to an awesome breakfast that gets your day started off right. So I have already um, pre-washed and chopped up some greens and I'm gonna dump my greens in there as well as some coconut water. So I like to put like, I don't know, let's say like a cup of coconut water in there. Ryan Hyatt likes to come over and steal my giant things of coconut water and, and drink <laughs> like two liters of it at a time. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is we're making the Frizzo Lizzo, so I like to make it cold and add some ice. So the first thing you're gonna do is dump your greens, um, some ice and some coconut water in there and blend that first. We're gonna add juicy berries. We have blackberries, watermelon, and strawberries. And if you wanna add some protein, you could put some avocados in there. I'm gonna put some strawberry yogurt in there. powerful um, blender, otherwise it's gonna taste stringy and disgusto. So, get you a high-powered blender. Make sure it's blended up really well. And voila! 
When Cora Hyatt was little, she would sit at my kitchen table right over there and watch me blend up greens and refuse to drink them and say, I saw what you put in that blender. And now she comes in here and makes up better smoothies than I do. The Frizzo Lizzo. Okay, it's time for another round of highs and lows. Are you feeling low? Stuck in a crummy situation and not sure how to get out of it? Need a lift? Send your dilemma to me and I might reply to your email on the show. So today's email comes from Chelsea and here's her situation. Hi, Susan. I have a bad habit of waiting and waiting and waiting to do things I want to do instead of just doing it. For example, I've been thinking about getting out there and dating again. I've been telling myself this for two freaking years. I even downloaded a dating app, but never actually made the profile. I keep postponing this and I tell myself, I need to lose weight first, girl. I need new clothes first. I need to get therapy and resolve all my childhood issues first. I need to catch up on emails first. The list is never ending. The truth is I'm scared. So I keep inventing reasons why I shouldn't move forward, delaying instead of doing it. How can I find the courage to just say yes? All right, girlfriend, <laughs> this is such a common predicament. As human beings, we are master procrastinators. We can easily invent a million reasons why we shouldn't do something. We're so good at keeping ourselves stuck, but also we have the power to get unstuck. Okay, let's talk about the situation. In every situation, you have two options. You can allow yourself to think a low quality thought this is a thought that causes you to feel stuck, trapped, depleted, tired, powerless. Or you can choose a high quality thought. For example, low quality thought. I'm not ready to date again because I'm just not good enough yet. I need to improve myself. I need to make myself skinnier, more attractive, more perfect so that I can be worthy of love. Okay, we all know that's a bunch of nonsense, right? Um, a high quality thought, I bring so much to the table right now, I'm the whole table. I am smart, funny, creative, kind, reliable, patient, and also that ass though. <laughs> I would love to find an amazing partner and I will. But whether I'm in a relationship or not, I am living my dream life and saying yes to things I wanna do. I am that bitch. All right, Chelsea. It's time for you to flip to a high quality thought that makes you feel powerful. When you start thinking high quality thoughts, your life changes. You feel different. You glow with a different kind of confidence and it becomes a little easier to start saying yes to the things that you want, whether it's dating or anything else. Chelsea, I want you to get out there and have a summer of yes. Yes to spontaneity, yes to new lingerie, yes to asking someone out on a date, yes to allowing yourself to be wooed and romanced, yes to sexy text messages, yes to making memories instead of making excuses, and hell yes to taking yourself on a fun date, solo, and doing tons of self-love. Please write back and let us know what happens next for you. I want to hear a hot dating story. Remember, when you're facing a problem in your life, ask yourself, am I thinking a low quality thought right now or a high quality thought? And ask yourself, what is the high quality solution to this problem? Those questions will guide you in the right direction. Choose the high quality thought and high quality solution stay lifted. Oh, hey, do you run a business or maybe you have a side hustle or maybe you really want to launch a business soon, but you're currently earning less than a hundred thousand a year. If you want to start making more than a hundred K, you want to join me. If you're a cool, creative, awesome human being, and you're willing to roll up your sleeves and do the work, I'm inviting you to apply to join my mastermind on the six. It's all about getting you to that six figure mark and beyond 
and you'll work with me and my team, my COO and strategist, Anna Mika, my head coach, Patty Rantapa, the Susan Hyatt Agency. We're gonna work on your mindset, your business plan, your marketing and sales systems, and your daily routine, all of it. We have a strong track record with this program and you can check out tons of glowing reviews from On The Six clients who are earning now more than ever before. So apply now and you'll be able to schedule a call if you need one to find out more information and determine if it's right for you. So let's get you earning significantly more than ever before. It's time, let's do this. Apply now, On The Six starts in July and space is limited, so be sure to apply soon. It's time for the question of the day and this is the part of the show where I share a question for you. Yes, you, the beautiful person who's watching right now. So here's our question of the day. What's something you really want that you keep postponing until someday later? Post your answer in the comments below and maybe for you, it's investing in new clothes. You keep telling yourself you need to lose 10 pounds before you're allowed to have nice things or taking a vacation or taking a real weekend. You keep telling yourself you're just too busy, you can't afford to take a break. Reading an actual book or something else, again, What's something you really want that you keep postponing until someday later? Put your answer in the comments below. Mm, this is gonna be fascinating. I'm excited to see what you share. Look, we've all got something we keep postponing. It's so powerful to own it, name it, and decide. I'm done with waiting. It's time to say yes. Here's a question I love asking everyone I meet. What's something small, inexpensive, or free that makes you feel rich? Here's something that makes me feel like a million bucks. Something my mama taught me when I was really little. Choosing my outfit and laying it out the night before. Now, before you roll your eyes, listen. I started doing this several years ago and it totally changed my morning routine. So instead of scrambling to figure out something to wear, my outfit was already planned out. And instead of like laying in bed and talking myself out of a workout, my workout clothes were already there. This made my mornings way more peaceful and luxurious. And research shows that the clothes you wear impact your emotions. You feel differently, you behave differently when you wear frumpy stained sweatpants versus when you're wearing an outfit that makes you feel like a boss. There's a difference, right? So if you want to feel confident, uplifted, positive, dress accordingly. It really does make a difference. Plus for me, when I take five minutes to choose an outfit in advance, this represents me saying yes to myself. I'm saying yes to self-care, yes to beauty, yes to taking time for myself, yes to expressing myself. It's not just about the clothes. It's about taking a moment to prioritize myself and feel powerful. So try this tonight. Choose an outfit for tomorrow and lay it out and notice how this changes how your morning feels tomorrow. And here's a bonus. It's really fun to shop your own closet and look at your clothes with fresh eyes. You can style an outfit using items you've already got. Put something together that feels good and that's creative and a little different than what you might normally grab. And when you're planning your day, it's so important to include little moments that make you feel emotionally rich. This can be one of those moments. It's amazing how something so small can make you feel rich. And when you feel rich, your stress levels drop, your creativity goes up, you come up with brilliant ideas, and it's easier to make moves, make money, and make your life better than ever. Feel rich to get rich. Now, behind me, I have my workout clothes already laid out, even the socks and my shoes, and I have a really comfortable but cute dress that I can wear while I'm working from home. These small choices add up to a lot of extra time in my day. It makes me feel rich. This has been Go Time TV. If this show brought a little positivity into your day, click the thumbs up below. Do it, boom, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. 
I want you to get out there and create what you crave. Don't wait, don't hide, whatever you want, whether it's a healthy new daily routine, a meaningful new career, more money in the bank, or more quality time with your family, go get it. No matter what's going on in the world right now, it's always the right time to go after your goals, make positive changes, and upgrade your life. The right time is right now. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. You only get one life, make it count, it's go time.